What is up guys, Rick here from Sharp Productions. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at another elevator design. This is a concept that was designed by El Mango and I'll go ahead and leave a video link to his video in the description so you guys can go and check it out. Basically what he went over was how to make a piston conveyor belt that goes vertical and what we have here is two of those machines side by side and he did showcase this design in his video however he didn't really go over how to build it so I went ahead and took the liberty of essentially reverse engineering his video and trying to figure out how to make it work and I've successfully done that so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to build this today but first I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it works but first let me go ahead and just show the design to you so all it is is just basically just a mess of observers that you need to put in the right order um, but it is very compact and it's just extremely repeatable you can make it go as short as you want or as tall as you want it does not matter I just have it at this height because this is a comfortable height for me to build but essentially how it works you just go ahead you hop in this one by one elevator car here press the button and there you go and this elevator actually goes five blocks per second so within a couple seconds here you can see I've traveled up roughly 10 blocks and the same thing if you go ahead and hit the downwards button you can see it just goes all the way down and stop really simple elevator really easy to build super fast and with that being said let's go ahead and get into the tutorial on how to build this so first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and prepare your first and second floor once you have those. Go ahead and make a little hole where you want your elevator car to be. One block back from that hole, we're going to go ahead and build a note block tower uh, that is going to start one block below where the elevator car is supposed to stop at the bottom. And we're just going to go ahead and build a tower all the way up to the second floor. Once we get to the second floor, go ahead and continue this tower six blocks above the second floor. So one, two, three four five six next we're going to want to go ahead and place a piston so go ahead and place a piston with a one block gap away from your elevator car is supposed to be a sticky piston facing that direction with a regular piston facing upwards on its face and from this point we're just going to go ahead and continue that so just sticky piston regular piston and you just want to continue this all the way up to the point where you leave a one block gap bef below your uh, second floor so what that means is that you're going to want to go ahead and stop right here you don't want to put another piston right here now to do the downwards pistons you're going to do a similar thing we're going to go ahead and go out here and place the piston in a similar location starting at the very top note block with a sticky piston on its face facing downwards from here you just continue this pattern all the way down with sticky pistons facing inwards here with uh, regular pistons on their faces facing downwards and you're going to leave a four block gap between the first floor and the last row of pistons so one two three four and right on top of that fourth block should be your last row of pistons so when you're done it should look something like this again I want to reiterate that you can make this as tall as you want the one thing you want to keep in mind is if you can make it super super tall but again you need to keep for the the pistons that are facing upwards you need that one block gap below this floor and for the pistons facing downwards you need the four block gap in between the last row of pistons and the first floor moving on to the next step we're going to want to go ahead and go over to the pistons facing upwards here and we're going to start the circuitry for these so you're just going to need basically just a mess of observers start an observer um, at three blocks away from this first piston put a trapdoor behind it and an observer watching that trapdoor going into that piston you're going to put an observer watching the bottom observer and two observers watching each other going to the, the second piston here an observer watching that observer an observer watching this one an observer watching that one and then we're going to go ahead and put another trapdoor another observer and you're just going to continue this pattern so essentially you just want to go observer here 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 and then you just want to snake the observers upward all the way up until you run out of pistons here so the observer line should look like it's going in this kind of direction so you're kind of snaking upwards like this so when you're done it should look something like this all you have to do is repeat the process as high as you want uh, or as low as you want. Once you're done with that, we're going to go over to the inside here and put observers watching all of these middle observers powering all of these note blocks. So with everything that we've done so far, the pistons will fire out these pistons and push upwards. However, they will get stuck in the middle here in the column, clogging the elevator shaft, which is not what we want. So we need to add in a reset line. In order to do that, we're going to put an observer watching this observer, an observer watching that one, and then two blocks in this location with a repeater set to two ticks. And we're just going to repeat that for every other layer here. So by the end, it should look something like this. You know you've done it right when there is a trap door uh, in between every one of these observer pipes here. And at this point, the up mechanism should function properly. So if we go ahead and put a block here to simulate the elevator car, and we update this bottom observer, 
you should see that block gets pushed all the way to the top and is now flush with the ceiling of your second floor. Now to do the bottom circuitry, it is going to require slightly different wiring, and if you don't pay attention, it won't work, so please pay attention. So you want to go out three more blocks here, and you actually want to go one block above this piston here, and we're going to place an observer, trapdoor, observer, and these observers are going to go in a line, and using QC, it will power this piston, but it has to be one block above this piston. From here, we're going to go ahead and place an observer, watching this bottom observer here, and then going into that one, that piston right there. And then we go ahead and put an observer watching that one, and we're going to continue the snaking pattern that we did before. And again, here, trapdoor, observer, and then observer, 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 and observer watching that one, watching that one, watching that one, another trapdoor, observer, and you just continue that pattern all the way down. Once again, make sure the observers kind of snake around like this. So they are all watching each other. So by the end, it should look something like this. One thing that is important, this last piston, do not put a direct line of observers going into it. Otherwise, this last piston will break. Just it will also get powered by QC from this um, line up top here. And you know you did it right when you should see a pattern of trapdoor, observer, trapdoor going throughout the entire thing. If at any point a random piston gets stuck in the middle of the elevator shaft, go back and check your observers to make sure that they are following the snaking pattern. From this point, we're going to go ahead and place in our observers powering these note blocks as well, watching all these observers. Oh, you see how I messed up here? See, that's going to throw off the piston, so I'm glad I caught that. Quick side note, this is one of the contraptions where your observer placement is really important. If you have any problems with this elevator, make sure you check that your observers are facing all in the right way because one observer getting thrown off could really mess up the whole thing. So by this point, it should look something like this where you have observers taking inputs from all these other observers from both sides of the contraption and powering the center note blocks. And on this side, we're also going to go ahead and add in the reset line, which is very similar. Once again, we're going to go and place an observer right here, right here, and then block block repeater set to two ticks and then we just continue this pattern all the way down so by the end of it you should have something like this from this point we're going to go ahead now and just add in our input line so all we're going to need to do is put some redstone under a button in front or wherever you want to put the button and then we're just going to run a redstone line all the way to the observer that starts it on the bottom here So now we have a redstone line going all the way to this observer. If we go ahead and press this button, you should see all the pistons activate, which is exactly what you want. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the top. And now the top is connected. So pretty much all I have here is another button with the redstone line going all the way up, updating this top observer, which initiates the whole chain reaction. Um, one thing I will say is that make sure you put in a repeater um, somewhere in the circuit. Otherwise, the signal won't be strong enough to reach all the way up to the top. So now when we press the button. We should see all the pistons fire downwards. So now that both buttons are working, we're going to go ahead and put in an elevator car. And all I did for that was I put in a block of any kind, uh, two trap doors that are open with another block on top. And for the most part, that should be it. There you go. And that is pretty much it. If you guys did like this video, make sure to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And it lets me know that you guys really want to see more of this stuff. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any problems with this design, be free to leave a comment down below. And I will be more than happy to try and help you guys. I've already helped over like 80 people on my last Redstone video that needed help with this. So I don't mind at all. Leave a comment down below if you have any problems with this. I'll try to help you out as best as I can. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.